Hey you guys, it's Jada and I'm gonna talk about the traditional cadence that you can hear at the end of, um, I wanna say traditional gospel music um, as opposed to contemporary. It's a real familiar sound and, and it sounds like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start in F real quick, but here it is real quick. Uh, something like that. So when you hear this cadence, let's, let's go ahead and talk about it. Let me talk about my keys are the uh, numbers in F, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. Now, um, right off the bat, if you were really paying attention, you noticed that we had a uh, chord in there that wasn't uh, diatonic. We had some notes in there that were not diatonic. We had a B and we had an E, and both of these were on the uh it was over the d so if you were looking that was a 13 um was the seventh in this chord let's see seventh is not in this chord so it's a six a f sharp four and a six nine or not a nine two sharp four and six because that was the root position but here's what's happening in the chord so surely find it you will be able to find it in the description but here we go um i'm gonna do this cadence and when i do this cadence i'm going to uh start it in the left hand and first inversion so and i'm not even gonna say first inversion for the left hand but i am going to uh, start on the a which is my third note of the scale three four five six seven And that leads us right back uh, back to our one chord. us right back into the the beginning of the song. Now here we go. What we're gonna do is like I said, we're gonna keep three, four, five, six, seven, one if you're the bass player. Those are the scale tones. Now in the right hand, um you know that's root position. This is first inversion. This is second inversion. Now the two ways that I like to play it because of the voicing in it would be second inversion and then root position. Now watch this. And then it ends on first inversion. Watch how this matches. Okay, notes for this. Over the A. C, F, and A. That's the uh, first inversion F chord, and it's functioning as an F chord. Now, you can play this two different ways. So um, you can play a four chord, which would make harmonic sense, uh, one to four, right there in the middle of this uh, little progression. But then, so B flat is in the left hand, D, F, and B flat are in the right hand. Or to give it a little bit more crunch, uh, D, G, and B flat. You can even do all three. But um, if you do it with the G in there, that would be the same as a two chord. And it kind of gives it a little bit more crunch. So, and then I'm back to my one chord over the fifth scale. And we call that like a pedal tone. But we have the C, the F, and the A again. So we've done. Now we get to our special chord, which is E major. Notice that seven instead of being. Um, diminished like it's supposed to be diatonically it's major all of a sudden um, and then 
it's in uh second inversion but it's over the so we're really not thinking of this chord as it functions as a seven chord but we're really thinking of this as a six chord and it is like i said uh two isn't it a sharp four and then the six it's just an altered chord <clears throat> sorry about that um so let's do that special chord and then let's go ahead and do our e half diminished which is diatonic uh left hand the e right hand is the b flat d and the g but also note it's the same chord that we used before so we only have three chords here one two here's the first one again here's the third chord here is the second chord again, and then back to our first chord again. Sorry. So now I can play that in uh, second inversion, like I said, or I can do that those same notes in uh, root position over the same bass. you would play one over the other would be the uh note that you want in your melody you could do it from first inversion let's let's hear what that sounds like um it just it just doesn't sound as good to me because the c would have to be the melody note um uh, for where you're ending for it to to make it sound better but listen to this this is it in uh starting in first inversion in the right hand Version. See how we land on. Plus, this is a very closed uh, position here. So, um, like I said, I don't like the sound of that one nearly as well as the other two. sound a little bit better so anyway that is the uh like i said the traditional uh gospel cadence and we did it in f let's go ahead um let me look at d flat again one and we said we wanted to do that in second version so let's go ahead and do it D flat. So there were two keys that you can do that in. Um, go ahead as normal, practice them in all of your keys. You don't want to uh, get in a situation where you get caught up because people do traditional songs in every key. And the one that you least expect is the one that they happen to pull out that particular day. So anyway, happy practicing. As always, if you have questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comments section. And if you need uh, lessons or even want to ask private questions, just go ahead and email me at jadaonpiano at gmail.com. And you guys take care and have a blessed day.